When a Service Champions technician works at your home, we always like to go the extra mile. That's why we ask if we can do a good deed for free. Little things to help you around the house. Things that maybe you just can't do by yourself. Things that you didn't even realize needed to be done. Things that just make your life a little bit easier and put a smile on your face. Service Champions Lighting, Heating, AC, and good deeds for free. This is Eyewitness News with live breaking news. Right now at 11, a second person has been arrested in a Mother's Day tragedy. Three children found dead in their West Hills home, and their mother is in custody. We're live as we learn more about a murder investigation. Hundreds of health care workers at Cedar sinai Medical Center are walking the picket line right now. We're live with what they're striking for, uh, why they're striking for the next five days, and with what the hospital wants patients to know. Wall Street, they continue to plunge today. We'll tell you what's fueling today's slide as you see the Dow down 456 points. Good morning to you. This is Eyewitness News at 11 a.m. We're live on ABC7, Hulu Live, and wherever you stream. I'm Philip Palmer. And I'm Giovanna Lada. A 16-year-old has just become the second suspect arrested in connection to the deaths of three children in West Hills. Eyewitness News reporter Sid Garcia is live in West Hills and has new details this morning. Sid? As you mentioned, this is a Mother's Day tragedy that has this West Hills neighborhood reeling over what happened yesterday morning. Let me step out of the way here and show you that a couple of memorials have been set up here. Friends of the family came over and set up three teddy bears for the three victims. Neighbors were telling us the family seemed normal. That's what we heard all morning and yesterday, that they all seemed normal. Take a look. The LAPD got the call of some kind of assault at the home on the 22,500 block of Victory Boulevard here in West Hills. When officers arrived, we're told it was horrific. The victims, a 12-year-old girl and nine and eight-year-old boys. The circumstances surrounding your death, detectives aren't releasing any of those details. The victim's mother, 38-year-old Angela Dawn Flores, has been arrested and booked for the murder of her three children. The Mother's Day tragedy has shocked this West Hills neighborhood. We spoke with one kid who played with the kid children and told us they all seemed fine, normal. Another neighbor told us that she heard screaming coming from the house early yesterday morning. I just remember waking up in the middle of the night because it was like... I heard a noise, like, a noise, a noise, like, screaming, and I was like, I just heard it out the window, and you can't tell from which neighbor it is at, but you hear you know, a person running and raving, and it's like, what the hell's going on, and it's the neighbors. I was really uh, shocked because I wasn't, because I wasn't expecting something for that to happen, and uh, when I heard of it, I got, like, for the kids and I got when I was really sad because like we kind of got had like a bonding time together. It all seemed normal next door? Yeah, it all Just seemed normal, like a, like a normal family having a bonding time. Angela Flores, as I mentioned, has been arrested and booked for the murder of her three kids. She is being held on $6 million bail. Also, the LAPD telling us a 16-year-old has also been arrested in connection with yesterday's murders. As the investigation continues, detectives tell us the one thing they want to find out, why. Live in West Hills, I'm Sid Garcia, ABC7 Eyewitness News. All right, Sid, thank you. Hundreds of healthcare workers at Cedar Sinai Medical Center are on strike. They say they're underpaid and they accuse the hospital of unfair labor practices. Cedar Sinai says it's been negotiating with the union for the last few months. Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Brown is live in Beverly Grove with the latest. Rachel. Yeah, good morning to you, Giovanna and Philip. The healthcare workers behind me, they walked off the job at 5 o'clock this morning. They say they're serious about their demands and they hope the two sides can reach an agreement soon. Hundreds of healthcare workers now officially on strike. Signs in hand, they're marching along Beverly Boulevard, accusing Cedar Sinai Medical Center of unfair labor practices. Union employees have put their lives on the line for the last three years during a pandemic. Our contract is up, and we don't feel like we're being treated very fairly. You're looking at nurses' assistants, drivers, janitorial workers, food service, and surgical techs, and more. This is not where I want to be. I would rather be inside serving my community, taking care of my patients 
This is the last thing that we want to do, but at the end of the day, we were forced to do this. They want higher wages, citing inflation and rising gas costs. Short staffing is an issue also. We want to go home to our families on time at night instead of being here overtime for hours. Cedar Sinai's chief human resource officer says limited staffing is an issue across all health care systems, and the hospital pays workers top dollar to pick up shifts, adding that he believes Cedars is a market leader when it comes to pay. Uh, we understand that there are issues and concerns that they have, but we think that we've addressed them in a very positive way. He says negotiations between the union and the hospital fell apart over the weekend. We're really disheartened with the union. Healthcare workers have pledged to picket until Friday evening unless a deal is reached sooner. Cedar Sinai says operations are not impacted and has arranged for supplemental workers to come in. You have to take care of the people who are taking care of the patients. I spoke with some union members. Say they they say they'll be out here till about seven o'clock tonight. Doctors and nurses are not a part of this union and therefore will not be walking off the job this week. Reporting in Beverly Grove, Rachel Brown, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Rachel, thank you. A heads up: if you're heading to LAX, avoid the southbound lanes of Sepulveda at Century. They are still closed due to a water main break. Crews say they'll be working on this until about 4 p.m. You can take the 105 to northbound Sepulveda or Century. Boulevard instead. Wall Street tumbling toward its lowest point in more than a year. Take a look. The Dow is down about 464 points off the session.